Life are in the studio and they are planning an in on injecting a bit of love into right? Christmas, <laughs> aren't you boys? Yeah. 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 It's Boy called God. The Love Album. Presumably it's about car chases and fighting. Yes. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Have you met Penny before? Of course. She's <laughs> very lively in the morning. This, is a very yes. good, this, time. this will be a very individual interview. <laughs> We're still asleep. Thank you. As you were. Uh, so what songs can we expect on this uh, romantic album then? Um, they're, they're all obviously famous love songs, you know, songs like Lionel Richie, Easy, um, Total Eclipse of the Heart is on there, um, uh, You Are So Beautiful, Joe Cocker. It's just, just and very who, different who, who styles of songs. Who chose them? Um, it was a bit, of, a bit of everything really. I think when we decided to do the album, um, we sat down with um, our manager Louis Walsh and Simon Kell and um, we kind of all sat down and picked what our favourite was and what their favourites were and, and we kind of got 11 tracks that we thought was the best um, love songs to put on an album without being karaoke, if you like, you know, without the really, really obvious ones. We, you know, we put a lot of songs on there that, you know, are, are a lot older than, than you know, us. 10 years. <laughs> 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 yes, because I, I know the one you're going to sing for us is a very old one. Such a beautiful, beautiful yeah. song. Yeah. Actually, one of the girls was telling us that she walked up the aisle to her, her for a wedding. Um, I don't know, one of the... The crew at the back here was The saying, Rose, it's yeah. such a beautiful song. Yeah, yeah it's it a great was, song. It must have taken over from Krista Berg as the most played song at family gatherings and weddings <laughs> by now. Westlife must be the most popular band. Well, for yeah, there's, there's, there's a few songs actually. We have uh, Swear It Again, our first single, was voted both um, favourite wedding and funeral song in the same year, which is kind of weird. Yeah. Flying Without Wings, obviously, You Raise Me Up actually is a big one now as well. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's but do, you, do you get a bit bored of the fact that you're, because you, often it, it mostly is ballads, isn't it, mm. that you're kind of, you're, you're renowned for. I mean, do you long to sort of break out of it and I just go insane? To a certain extent, <laughs> breakdowns. To a certain extent, you know, we do what we feel we're best at, and that's, you know, songs like love songs. And I think that's for the simple reason that, um, you know, it's something that happened for us naturally at the start of Westlife. We started singing love songs and that kind of clicked. As much as we did some up tempos here and there, it, the ballads seemed to be the ones that, you know, we preferred to do and that got the bigger attention and that everybody loved more. And we've just stuck with what we do best. I think it's the, the biggest danger we could do is change what we do best. And uh, I think that's something that we all. We know we love singing the songs, and that's could, what makes a difference. You could have a great time, couldn't you, with a bat out of hell or something? Uh, we do all that stuff on tour, though. You know, <laughs> yeah. really lively. When, when, when you see a Westlife concert, people who haven't seen them, you know, we do uh, maybe. Penny's been there. She's seen them. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You've been there every year for a row. Do you know what? The, the bands have only just fallen off, you know, the, yeah, yeah, the, the, the things well, that you no, get. We do a medley of other people's songs and go crazy and jump around and stuff. Like We did Pussycat Dolls, don't you, this year, which was quite good fun yeah. and stuff, you know? So we yeah. do a lot. Actually, we have a new tour on sale as well. Always have to get the plug in. <laughs> <laughs> new tour goes on sale last week, so everybody's got to go out and get tickets well, for Well, you haven't said much this morning. What's the problem? I know, I'm not really a morning person, to be honest with you. <laughs> Is that Sometimes I watch the show, but I'm still up from the night before. <laughs> <laughs> right, and you don't have to speak, of course, when you're watching the show, so, no, so it's fine. No. It's OK, we'll let you go back to sleeping you. with your eyes open. Um, now, this, of course, is a romantic album, the love album. The most romantic thing you've ever done? Oh, it's a tough one. Oh, that's tough one. That's, well, OK, that's just a, a little question. romantic thing you've ever done. Um... Get married was pretty Anything yeah, at all? I think all of our weddings. Marriage, yes. Was that romantic? <laughs> yeah, was it at all romantic? No. no, no. I, I think the, the weddings were amazing, though. Yeah, yeah, and Shane were, got yeah. married. Um, not, not to each other. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was the Even though some people think, think so. so. <laughs> um, but they were, they were big, like, you know, fairy tale day, you know, big castle and stuff like that. You know, that was, that was particularly romantic. But we've all done, I suppose, things where we've um, flown home and surprised our other halves. Oh, that's lovely. You see, that's the sort of thing. I remember interviewing somebody, a couple many, many years ago. He was 101, and I think she was 103. And he said that every single day he took her a rose or some other flower from the garden, made her a cup of tea, and left that on the side of the cup. Ah, there you go. There's a now that's compete with that. No, that's, that's, that's just yeah. 103 years of experience right there. Yeah. <laughs> and talking of roses. That's what you're going to be singing about. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Speak well of a rose. Boys. Well done, boys. Yeah. It's not broken. They never fix it. Always successful. 35 million or something, whatever it is. Yeah. So there, there are about getting up there. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. stuff. Thanks, Thanks for coming in. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 leave, him, leave him alone. <laughs> He's still sleeping. Leave him alone. And uh, you can find out if Westlife are coming to a place near you on the website that is gm.tv. And of course, they're going to be performing their new single, The Rose, after the break. Uh, so, Mark, if you can go off and get ready, okay. along with the rest of them, while we get the weather from Claire. <laughs>